Wow, look at the snowflakes. <laughs> what? Oh, man. This is so weird. This is exactly what happened last time I put them up at the house. such a treat. I, I, we did not expect this. It's lightly snowing. I don't know if it'll be more than just these super fine flakes, but there's blue in the sky, so maybe the storm's like coming our way and we will get some flakes, because this is magic. It's a Christmas miracle. December is a wild card in these mountains. We've been dumped on, we've been left dry, and we bounced on Mother Nature's weather trampoline. And I've got this off-grid cabin down by the river which I love spending time at in all seasons. But there's something about winter that brings out the best in a place like this. So far, we hadn't been lucky with the snow this December, so we had to find other ways to get into the Christmas spirit. This December has been very on and off with the weather. It was 50 degrees yesterday, and then raining like crazy. The rivers are swollen and it's very muddy. Very muddy. It's real muddy. But uh, temperature dropped close to 32, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And so this morning we're supposed to be getting some snow and it's just starting to fall here. I think it's gonna be too wet to really accumulate or anything like that, but we couldn't miss a decent <laughs> snow at the cabin. So we figured we'd come and stay a few nights and get this place totally winterized. It's a bunch of work to do. It's Christmas time at the cabin. With the high hills covered in light snow, I took to the back roads to capture the golden light before the white disappeared.
I checked out a few of the spots I've been going to since I first got my driver's license back in the day before heading back to the warm cabin for supper. for us the other night and well he's made it a couple times and it homemade pasta is just unbelievable so I'm gonna give it a try and uh, follow his his recipe here basically half cup of flour and one egg per person but we're gonna do at least three eggs that the other thing this is good this is what you use to roll out pasta <laughs> Pasta roller. These are things we need here. You know, I have one. I know, it's for you. For my clay, right? I love this time of year for so many reasons. I'm using Allie's Berkshire boot bomb to, to weatherproof my boots. Wow. It makes such a difference. This. This stuff is so good. A lot of you guys probably don't know this, but my girlfriend also has a YouTube channel. Her name's Allie Marie Brown. She makes fantastic videos. And she also has an Etsy store where she makes top quality products by hand. She, she makes all kinds of things. She makes candles, she makes boot bombs, she makes tick spray, bug spray, she makes vial of youth, anti-aging serum, bath bombs. She just has a huge array of holistic products. I told you about Allie's store last December, just before Christmas time. And you guys changed her life. She got so many orders. She was over the moon. It helped her take away a huge chunk of debt. She's got a lot of startup costs from starting her own business because she quit her corporate job um, after she met me because I knew she had what it takes to become her own boss and make her own company and all that. And she's such a hard worker. She really is. She's, she makes me proud every day. She works very, very hard. She's extremely passionate about her store and her products and her videos and everything she does. She started making products from scratch because she couldn't find anything in the stores that had no chemicals and that was this high of quality. She, so she just started making them from scratch. And now she's gotten to the point where she grows a lot of the ingredients in the garden 
and the entire product is organic and it's made with love, truly. She loves what she does. She's got over a thousand five-star reviews, which was a huge milestone. And what's so cool is I watched, I remember day one, I remember when she had zero five-star reviews. I mean, you can't possibly order from a corporation when you know that you could buy a better quality item and support a real human being. I know she'd be up to give a discount, so let's just say if you use code TROUT, you can get 10% off her entire store. I'll go confirm with her after. She's gonna be really excited. <laughs> oh, I was, I was just about to come out there. What? I was just about to come up there. Really? In split wood? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you if you, all right, would you be willing to run a sale? Yeah, for the holidays? I mean, yeah. yeah, maybe I will. Let's say the code is trout. <laughs> yeah. Code trout for 10% off? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. It's a deal. <laughs> I just boop on. I could smell it as soon as I walked in. I was like. Of stuff to do today. But first, we need a nice big breakfast. My friend Jared gave me some fresh venison, so we're gonna do steak and eggs with that. So for the woodshed, you know how there's that little box with a beam on it over there? I'd like to clean that up and I think that would be a decent spot for the woodshed anyway. Because mm -hmm. I was looking over there and there are some decent spots but I don't want to block the view of the cabin from back in the hemlocks there. Yeah. Since we winterized the cabin and disconnected the hot water pump or the hot water heater and the pump and drained all the lines. We don't have running water. We had two five gallon buckets that we wash dishes with and now we got no way to do it. You don't realize how much of a uh, hindrance it is to not have running hot water until you end up here. So I'm heating up a pot of water on the stove and then we got a rinse bucket thingy here and I'm gonna do the dishes a little bit more old fashioned. Thank you. 
Oh, we'll just use these little ones. All right, so we've got some firewood. We want, really want to stock up a lot more for the winter. So we're making a tiny little woodshed. Nothing fancy. Neither of us have ever made a woodshed before. I mean, I've done building, but we're just gonna work with what we have and make a little place to keep the wood dry. And Mama Trout stopped by when she was taking the family dog Hudson for a walk. And she lent a hand with the woodshed. This uh, plank from Jack's house. It's gotta be 30 inches wide. It's not in great shape, but I'm gonna fix it up and turn it into the dinner table at the house. Winter indulgences is uh, sourdough pretzels with beer cheese. We always have it when we're cross country skiing, and yeah. figure that would be a beautiful treat to <laughs> have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't beat it, really. the light here literally shines in through it's like we didn't even plan that it's just the only place we could have put it and that's where the morning light comes in the smell of the wood stove smaller but it could be cool if it, <laughs> it doesn't matter that it has to be exact so I'll show you oh, that's 
time. Go for it. I love it. And in the end, we built a fine little shed, even though the rafters were sitting the wrong way. But regardless, it felt good to make something from scratch that would be there for many years to come. <sighs> it is cold out there, but it is so cozy in here. Broccoli, and what else are we gonna do? Eggs, broccoli, and the bolognese, the leftover bolognese. Don't <laughs> get any bolognese and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> crazy breakfast. This looks so good though. Yeah, mm -hmm. mm. I'm excited to try the two day old pasta. I tried to start this thing in the fall, and it almost fired up. It's turning over fine and then it, it died and then when I turned the key no action to the starter at all so this is such a cool truck it's a 1950 it used to be a fire truck so it's only got 4,000 miles on it flathead v8 in great condition when it runs it runs real smooth but just needs some tweaking around and now that we got the property in the new house and we're gonna make fields and everything one day we want to have a farm I want to make this a flatbed. I think you're supposed to run the engine for a bit with this stuff, but I don't really have that option. <sighs> Woo, it smells like there's definitely a mouse living in here. That's probably what it is. They probably chewed through the wire. Yeah, nothing. This is such a treat. I, I, we did not expect this, it's lightly snowing. I don't know if it'll be more than just these super fine flakes, but there's blue in the sky. So. Oh yeah, you can see them in the opening for sure. This is so cool. It's a Christmas miracle. This kind of firewood warms you three times. Once when you cut it, once when you split it, and once when you burn it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have to try splitting one of these, I gotta know. Nice cherry wood. Oh boy. Huh? <laughs> Are we screwed? It just bounces off. That's not good. How could that even be? That just needs to dry more, I guess. Oh, it is dry. Look at this. 
Sheesh. Oh, we're gonna have some wood, baby. We're gonna have some wood. You go back and forth, one person with this. Oh, wow. It's harder. I guess three, if you're really trying. It's harder with this in my mouth. And then we set up Christmas decorations around the cabin for the first time ever. I know it doesn't look like much, but we weren't expecting any snow at all, and it's pretty magic to be putting up the Christmas lights and see the flakes coming down and see them starting to accumulate on the deck there. <sighs> Feels like Christmas, it really does. Huh? Probably time to get the pretzel dough ready. Yeah. You hungry? Yeah, very. What a day, huh? The snow. I can't believe it snowed. Okay. Christmas at the cabin. You know the one thing we forgot? Our little tree. Yeah. <laughs> we cut up a bunch of firewood, stacked it, and had the cabin ready for winter adventures. Sleigh bells jingling, ring ting a tingling down. our time at the cabin with the best homemade Christmas combination we could think of. eggnog I've ever had. This really? is the best, one of the best Christmas drinks I've ever <laughs> had. Seriously, that is insane. You could probably even do a little sprinkle on top just to decorate it. It's so fresh and creamy and 
Wow. 38 grams of lye, 940 grams of water. Mm. Her dough all over my whole shirt. Wow, those look good. What? Yeah. The inside just of the this, pretzel. how it just like, <laughs> woo! <laughs> it's also so cool to have it served in the cast iron. Yeah. We did have the vegetables. This is a valid meal. <laughs> what, like protein from the bread? This is just milk yeah. and cheese, like good quality everything. Yeah, you didn't see what went in it. Upon 